Hi there, I'm Questy. Welcome back to Shadow's Awakening. Where we left off last time, we were exploring the Hermit's Cave, which is pretty much my house, really, if we come right down to it. Um, and uh, we're trying to do that because we've got ourselves a little problem with Czar. He's a fucked up hornet, and we got to fix that. But uh, despite all my bumbling around and fumbling and failing to understand or even look at my UI to figure this stuff out, we did get this far. Now we've got a little uh, little passageway ahead here that we can go down and explore, but you'll also note that we have some uh, pretty clear indicators that there's some stuff we should do prior to getting into that. We should level up. So let's have a look. Now this is kind of interesting, right? Czar is, uh, man, we're actually, look at that, we're more than halfway to level 12. We're stacking them up here pretty fast. This is interesting. This is interesting to the point where this is so well developed that I wonder if we're going to be able to have a shape shift into this guy and whether or not that'll help us to, you know, traverse or something like that in the future. Probably not. Probably not. This is probably just a simple way for them to handle switching the character over is to just have these item slots where they can equip these things. I would imagine. Although we can add essence. Okay, that's interesting. There's a bit going on here. Let's just say that. All right, but let's uh, let's get started. Let's level up. All right, we've uh, we've got some skill. What the fuck? Okay, we're able to level this guy up. So this thing here is probably going to be with us for a while. Now that I'm realizing that. Okay. I sort of want to restart the video so I don't seem like such a fuckwit. But we're not going to do that. What we're instead going to do is acknowledge that I just really haven't learned anything about how this game works. This is a new summon. This is a new husk. And it has joined our party. And Zul, Zul, <laughs> only Zul, Zar, has been uh, popped back into the stable and we are landed with this guy. So basically what happened was we faced one of these enemies and the devourer with no control over himself ended up occupying it. And that's what he meant by this dark spasm. So this is actually a wasp that we are actually going to be able to build up, actually going to be able to unload more skills. That's pretty fucking cool. Let's see what we can do with them. All right. Um, let's get a look at what we want to do. Now, we know he's pretty tanky because we have been, uh, we have been up close and personal with him there. So let's take a look at his abilities. Okay. Wasps gather in swarms, which will circle around and hurt enemies in the area. All right. So he's got kind of a persistent, um, 10 second AOE piercing damage scenario going on here. He's got impale, dash forward, very fast, stab everyone in the path. Okay. So that's going to be the same as the, uh, dark dash that the devourer has that's actually i really like that ability on him and that could actually be one that we want to go for protective swarm covers the body of the wasp damage any enemy who tries to hurt her oh it's a she um after switching the effect will be transferred to another puppet okay that's actually kind of cool a little retaliation damage armor there that's not bad i mean it really only works particularly well for our melee guys because our kiters don't tend to get hit a lot but the damage is not bad for reactive damage. Um, oh, and here we go. Kind of a kind of an AOE attack. We can leave a poison trail behind. And we have Parasite. Wasp infects with a Parasite, which will damage its prey over time. The targeted enemy is killed during this. It will target the next nearest enemy as its host. This is a cool new, uh, cool new critter that we got our hands on here. All right, what I would like to do is I'm going to unlock Impale. And I'm going to... This is cool. This this is kind of interesting. I might like to do this. A little bit of DPS is not a bad... Or, or uh, dot damage is not a bad thing. So this is ticking every second for 15 seconds, doing 50 damage at this base level. That's not bad. And I have a hunch that, well, it's piercing damage, so I guess we'll see if they're resistant. I'm going to I'm gonna get that. Okay, but what we are going to do is we're going to take our basic sting attack, which is ranged poison, and we're going to level that up a little bit. 
We've got seven skill points remaining. So this here would cost us three, I believe, right? Um, yeah, because we're at level two, so that would cost us three. Uh, I'm tempted to also increase Impale. We cannot upgrade Parasite. That's a higher level ability. And I know maybe I should just be unlocking everything to try it out. But I think what we'll do first is we'll just make our we'll make our basics a little bit more viable. So let's go ahead and unlock that. We've got two more points. Um, so we could save them for an additional level up of Impale at level 16. But that's a little ways down the road. So instead, we'll unlock this and give it a try. Uh, but that's about it. I don't really need these others right off the bat, or at least I don't think I do. So let's populate this list. We're going to take Impale to close distance, um, and then we're going to take Parasite. I mean, I see that being very handy in boss fights and stuff, particularly where I can just dot them up. Okay, so I guess the other thing is we want to figure out for this guy, what is our primary statistic going to be? And I think what we're probably going to say is we're doing a lot of piercing and physical damage with this character. And we do have um, the sting, which is doing poison damage. But by and large, most of our abilities are doing pierce damage. I would guess that by scaling strength, we're actually going to give his base attacks a lot more damage. Um, now, if we're looking at this, he's got a fuck ton of agility. 3% crit. So him with a crit build, probably not a bad idea either. He's really flimsy. He doesn't feel that flimsy in combat, but again, he might, you know, he, he didn't do too well against those big ants. Well, anyway, um, let's just bump this up a bit. And by a bit, I mean quite a bit. We're going to give him more strength. It doesn't seem to be emphasizing that, but you never know. Um, and this one here, uh, mana regeneration is always useful and skill damage bonus. Once again, this could potentially scale um, his poison skills and stuff like that. I would imagine it does. So we might just go there. Bring that agility up a little more. Yeah, I see. And then we'll scale his strength for more crit bonus. Uh, so he's we've got his uh, critical chance up to 4%. So it looks like every 10 points converts into a percentage there. So let's actually do this. Okay, we're at 5% right there. Okay, so it's not quite that that exchange. So let's leave him at 5% crit chance. That means we're critting on a 20. And then we'll jump his strength up to 30. So there we go. We're getting a 15% crit damage bonus, 13 point or 13.5 base damage bonus, and a physical resistance bonus, which is good because we have left him flimsy as fuck with not a lot of bonus hit points or anything like that. All right, so there we go. One last thing to check out here is going to be his talents. We've got three open slots. Um, and now that we've assigned those abilities, it's going to have everything open that is going to be available to him. So, uh, I mean, this one's actually not terrible because it decreases his skill cooldown, even though he's not a caster. Um, martial training, increased damage dealt by 5%. That's not too bad. Uh, critical hits reduce enemy's armor for three seconds. Effects stack. Now, of course, I might, I think I have this on my um, horrible little goblin, but this might not be bad because we are building him for crit. So actually, this is almost like a group support ability that we want to get, right? Um, no pain, no gain. Bonus 20% damage when hit points drop under 30%. That's probably not something that I want to do with this character because of the fact that he doesn't have a ton of health. That could actually be something that just leads to us getting fucked up, right? Um, okay, we, extra silver, not bad. Um, we could address that really low endurance that he has by giving him 10 right off the bat. That would make sense. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. So let's grab Fleet of Foot. 10% extra move speed right off the bat. And I think we'll try to, whatever gear he can equip, she, sorry, she can equip, we might end up putting a little bit more gear on her. Now we've got two interesting things here. We can increase her attack speed or we can increase her precision. That's going to give us extra crit chance. This is something we are going to want to do with our wasp. But in the immediate term, this is going to jump her up to 7% crit chance. 
Unless it's 2% of her 5%, but it's, whatever. It's probably, it's 2% small value. It's probably going to go to 7. And we're going to do that because it synergizes with this. And we'll get this with our next opening here, which is level 12 coming right up. All right. So let's go there. Boom. Nice. Okay. If we take a little look at our character, which is in here, maybe it's, I, I don't know. How does this work again? Whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out later. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, we're going to go to our horrible little goblin. Now we're going to take a look at him. So we've got some skill points to spend around, uh, level 16 required level 13 required. We could upgrade that. We could upgrade this. I don't like those or care about them. So we're just going to save some points because we actually have um, a couple upgrades that will become available. So level 13, that's not too terribly far down the road. And we've got another one here for multi-shot, which I really like. Let's just save our points. I'm happy with his abilities. So we'll just go forward with that. We know that we don't have any talents, but we do have skill points here uh, or sorry, attribute points. So let's... Um, do the thing. Let's pump him up. Um, and this guy here, I think we're getting, I think we are getting action out of this. Now I know strength makes his attack stronger and he does do like that critical damage bonus is something that I sort of hadn't really focused on. Um, so it does potentially make sense to scale this as well, right? So his skill bonus damage, that's showing up. He's hitting really hard with his fan, pretty hard with his bucket. This one here, I feel like if we could get that critical damage bonus to maybe 10%, it's good, right? Because we are crit building him. So I'm going to just throw that point in there. It brings our percentage up a little bit. And we might drop a couple more points in this in the future and just see if that rounds out nicely. Moving on to Evia. Favorite character. She's my, she's my waifu in this game. Um, let's bring up her willpower even more. Like, I mean, realistically, uh, if we're being honest, like we could just say, fuck it, just put it all in there. Right. Her mat, her, uh, damage bonus is just getting high. And I think we could just keep focusing on that, you know, with agility, her critical chance bonus is still so low. We would have to put so much in to get her where she needs to be for crit builds. And she does crit from time to time, but this is probably where we want to go. So we'll confirm the allocation, check her skills. We don't have enough skill points to upgrade this, but we actually can. And this is one of those things. This is just such a reliable, quick reloading uh, attack. Um, we need to wait for level 13 to upgrade that. Um, and that. So she's going to be in that uh, just save her points again. But what we are going to do is we're going to re-socket Flame Strike. I like it. Meteor is cool, but I like Flame Strike better. I mean, Meteor should be be hitting harder and I feel like maybe it's not I feel like this ultimately is hitting a little bit harder because it just seems to tick a few times you get three of them if you multiply it out it's just a lot of fire damage um so I think we're just doing a little bit better with that okay so we're gonna go ahead and redo that all right and then moving along to devourer he's already maxed out his frost chain which we use constantly um his soul rend um we haven't been using so Shadow Blink is basically one of my favorite things to do with him and Demon Strike as well, neither of which we can uh, upgrade right now. So I think probably what we'll do is we'll save his points as well and then just go in here and keep buffing his strength because we're getting we're getting good uh, attack damage from him now. He's taking enemies down pretty fast. So I think that's going to be it. All right, and we'll have to level up our other characters later. I sort of wish in this interface you could do it, but I, I kind of understand why they don't. All right. Drop a quick save, learn our lessons. Okay, so let's see how this guy feels. He feels pretty, she feels pretty fast now. That's good. We got that extra 10% move speed in there. We got extra crit rate. We got some abilities. Let's go and use them. Let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, look at this move rate. Very nice. Like, is, is she actually faster than Evia? Nah, she's probably she's not faster, I don't think. But definitely more like in the zone. All right, let's poke around a little bit. Kind of literally, given the fact that we're going around just stinging everything into uh, annihilation. Okay, so we've got a... Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, hey, my parasite is ranged. <laughs> and I, I guess he probably died in the fire. I was going to say it, and that actually hit, but I, I doubt that it did. All right, um... 
I'm going to I'm going to do the like perform the drill here that we need to do every time and just make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it doesn't look wait. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't look like we did. All right, we're going to switch back over to Evia for this uh, little passage through the fire. She actually has the most resistance, I think, to that. So let's do this little, uh, oh, ow, everything is the worst. Everything is the worst. Okay, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there, but not that would be my guess. All right, so there's some kind of pattern that I didn't see there, like, so hang on. Oh yeah, no, it's the same old. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, kind of getting tagged a little bit while I deal with these guys. Okay. Nah, you're fine, don't worry about it. Barely a scratch. Okay. Quick check. What We're good. Have begun. Evia shall finish. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're going to take advantage of having this back on the bar. It's ideal for these little swarms. Nice. I like the little, uh, little key strike scenario going on there. This is our anti-aircraft gunner right here. And it looks like we, uh, looks like in the background we took down another one of those little, uh, hive-looking things. I'm sniping. I'm, I'm sniping. Alright. Come on. Come on, lead the target, buddy. Lead the target. I can't I can't do it for you. Devastation. Alright. Oh, we got another little hive there. Okay, yeah, we can see them spawning out of it, right? So that's how we're gonna secure this place from constant respawns. Ow. Okay, we've got some uh, Shadow Realm nonsense going on there. I can hear it. Lifesteal doing work. What are we... What are we close to here? Like, sound says there's something going on right here, but I'm not getting it. I'm not seeing what it is. There's something in here. All right, I don't know. That's kind of vaguely interesting. I will say that. Um, oh, oh, okay. Look at that. I can't change my... Oh, it's a whole fucking thing. It's a room. Wow, okay. Hey, man, one day I'm going to learn how this game works, and it's going to be a really exciting day for everyone, I would think. Okay, we've obviously got a little nest in here. So, ow, man. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to step around you. Okay, soulstone of purge, nice. What does this do? It opens the green crystal gates. I mean, dude, I liked you better mute. Also, little game glitch there. This doesn't properly break when you hit it. Okay. I think I accidentally hit their little hive thing in the background there when I came through. All right, so there we go. So we've kind of achieved what we need to achieve in this area here. Um, we're doing well on our resources too. We got eight out of 10 of those soul stones. So let's kind of keep cruising up ahead here. All right, let's snipe this. There we go. So we're not gonna get any respawns up in this. Okay, kind of bad timing on what you're doing right here. Okay, there we go. Boss arena confirmed. Ow, dude. Uh, fuck off. That was pretty inconsiderate. Okay, let's feed her a little bit of fire. Oh, she's gone. Looks like she's gone into shelter there. Let's, uh, let's wasp around. Let's use the parasite. Right? Because that was something that we really wanted to do here. Okay, let's 
poison is probably not going to do a lot. So uh, let's go here. Drop off a barrel. Come towards me. Thank you. That's good. Okay. We're probably, uh, probably in cooldown for this. Oh, she stayed back. Clever girl. Clever girl. I'm just assuming wasp queen. I think that's what it said there. Okay, let's let's get away from that swarm. That's probably what I also have is that ability there. And then we'll drop some damage on her. It's barrel time again. There we go. Very nice. Target down. Perfect. All right, we did take a little bit of damage in there, but we'll just denigrate him to the background and we'll let him sort of uh, recover. We did just get ourselves a level 13 bow though. I'm going to sneak a cheeky look at it for this guy. Let's see. Fine Tamurian Great Bow. It's actually bonus damage over and above what we already have. So we can get one essence into that for a fuck ton of cash and bring that up to a legendary weapon as well. Although I will say this one here, like plus 62 pierce damage is nice. But if you look at the stats that I have rolling on this thing, it's pretty good. 3% crit chance and 10% crit damage. So this one here will have to, it has basically the same scenario going on, but without the slay chance. Kind of wish I could re-roll that, but may, well, maybe I can. I don't actually know that I can. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, in the meantime, let's carry on. Boss defeated. Drops collected. That almost looks like something I should be able to fuss with, but I don't think I can. Okay, ineffective attacks. Come on, kite. Kite, damn you. You didn't kite. I'm trying not to have to heal this guy. He's he's definitely, like, I know in, in the past I did complain how, like, he didn't feel like that, you know, ranged point damage monster that I felt like a ranger should be. And he's starting to feel a lot more like that now. He's getting a little bit quicker, a little bit more kitey. Shots are hitting harder. Imagine my disappointment when I saw a third door. It was real. Oh, I should poke around here. I didn't quite check all these areas for... Yeah, there we go. Some essences. That's good. And we do have a little... I mean, does that ever look like something I could go into, right? Yeah, there we go. Wasp tunnel. Oh, boy. Oh, good. That's exactly where I want to be. Let's get our fan shot ready. Uh, yeah, there we go. Wait. That brought us back up to the top. Interesting. That's not what I expected. Um, we must have missed a lever down there then, right? Because we've got two out of three of these doors open, but... What is that? Effing noise. Uh, okay, okay. The hunt is on. And the hunt is over. We found it. Use the Remember systems. The princess of the Gerulian throne. Come on. Cool down. Cool down. There we go. Um, Czar, is everything cool with you, man? That looks a smidgen like your uh, like your head going on up there. Is that is that meant to? You know what? Sometimes I ask too many questions. Let's just let's just let the game do game things, and we'll just carry on with our lives. Door number three. Of course. Fire. Why wouldn't there be fire? Of course there's fucking fire. All right, let's go. 
I mean, yeah. I think we're all pretty curious about what's happening here, but you know what? Let's just pretend we didn't see it. Glitch in the matrix, that sort of thing. Alright, a nice opportunity to get lit on fire again here. At least I'm not particularly seeing any uh, critters in there. I'm hearing some weirdness. The ancients were eager to no waste people's time. I have learned will aid me in crossing here. Yeah, no good call, but we do know what we're doing here. Okay, look at this. Necromancer staff. Is that... Touch the crystal in the hermit's cave. Um... Okay. Okay, so that is a uh, straight up legendary right off the bat staff, which is pretty nice. So it's inflicting presumably dark damage, which I like. Um, it's inflicting more of it, which I like. It has life steal. I approve. It has plus ten percent skill damage. I approve. No, wait. That's my that's my current one. Um, ten percent chance to slow. Two percent chance to slay. Yeah, that is going to be equipped come next level, which is coming right up. We're actually uh, about seventy five percent of the way to the next level. All right, that's a pretty cool find. What what are you? Okay, now he's up here. Is there something I'm missing about, like, I don't know, man. I don't know why I have that. I'm sure everything's amazing. All right, I think we're, I think no we're back in. No sorcery I have learned will aid me in crossing here. She uses the ancient art of lever manipulation. Oh, right. Uh, okay, so we did the thing. We went through the doors. We haven't touched the crystal. Did I miss the crystal? I must have missed the crystal. The hunt begins and ends in bitter disappointment. Okay, so I've run through the caves again. Um, I've checked my side areas. I have the weird floating icon of Zar in some places. I thought that that might in some way be indicating that potentially there was something going on that I should know. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So the only thing I can really think of doing right now is I'm going to go through this wasp tunnel, which is going to take me back up to the top here. And then I'm going to do a quick switch over here to the sanctuary, and then I'm going to check this out. Now... Yeah, so we have Czar, like we can just switch him back into the group here. Um, we have Thorn Wasp. We still have the quest, apparently. Um, I'm going to keep Czar in just for now because, um, you know, this is kind of his little area and shit of that nature. But uh, so we'll, we'll confirm the party options that we've selected there. But... And we can actually level him up as well, which I think we uh, we might just finish out the episode by doing that. But in terms of what we're supposed to be doing here, cure dark spasm from the sting. Touch the crystal. Well, I'll be honest, I don't have a fucking clue where it is. So, I guess... Like, I guess... See, I would assume that we're done with it, right? Because it says, like, trapping you in its form. Well, we came in here a long time ago and we're fine. Uh, it could be that we'll learn something from talking to this guy over here. There's our little weird icon again. Um, oh, the icon is him, um, not, Z not Zar. Um, touch the crystal below. Trust me, it will restore you. 
Um, like, is he creepily hitting on me? Like, what does he mean? Like, his crystal? I don't know. Um, I, I, I do not know what um, crystal he's talking about. This is going to be one of those between uh, between sessions lookups that I'll have to do. But in the meantime, let's see. We got one skill point here. We do have a couple skills that we've never opened up with him. Um, The horrified howl of Timurian general cripples enemies around and leaves them slowed and weakened. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's weird that it's horrified instead of horrifying, but, you know. Uh, wolf dash, a pack of wolves come. And we did see that in the boss fight when we initially fought him. Um, and he can also bring in adds as well. For a short time, his base attacks will become ranged. It's kind of cool. We're actually going to hang on to his skill points, though. I, I'm not as devoted to just opening everything up as I am to actually developing the skills that I'm enjoying using. And I do like his skill set quite a bit. Let's pop over here and just buff him. Uh, I think that it's going to be maybe a little brace of endurance right now because we want him to just be tanky. So let's confirm that. No talents unlocked. We'll get another one at 12th level, which is coming up. So we're pretty close there. But... I'm going to leave the mystery of what crystal the hermit is talking about for next time and call this episode here. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and uh, I will see you next time.